Welcome back to Julia, Among the Stars. It occurred to me that the virus that the crew keeps talking about, that they think they caught somewhere, it sounds like the symptoms of the virus are actually radiation sickness. I mean, they talked about inflamed skin and patches of hair falling out, people getting weak and then just dying. Doesn't that sound like the effects of radiation poisoning? Now, it would be strange that they wouldn't be able to tell this. I mean, obviously, if they were receiving radiation, that's something that their instruments normally should be able to tell them, right? But it really sounds like radiation, and the fact that this device here on the table is apparently some sort of a cobbled-together radiation uh, Geiger counter thing makes me think that maybe they started to suspect that it actually was radiation. Which is quite strange. Anyway, let's see if we can find some more about that from Barth Krylov's journal entries. So let's start reading. There is quite a lot here. Now this is interesting. Originally, Xenophon was our main target, yet it's entirely devoid of any life. Does it mean we landed at the wrong place, or did Julia make another one of her infamous mistakes? From the very beginning, I was warning everyone about the premature total reliance on untested sophisticated technology, and it would seem that I was correct in my assumptions. There is a possibility that some miscalculation made by Chandra led us towards Ambrosia. But there's no way those things could have sent out any signal. Either way, we caught it, and it led us here. So, let's explore. Hmm. Yeah, I was already very suspicious of Julia. And this kind of hammers it home. Make another one of her infamous mistakes. Artificial intelligences should not make mistakes, right? I mean, they're basically supposed to be perfect, at least as perfect as you can possibly be. Hmm. Today, our crew encountered mild nausea. Nothing worth caring about, as there are more pressing matters. There is something wrong with this planet. I was conducting a special analysis of our surroundings, and the data simply does not add up. I'm considering the idea that this place was once, once actually bustling with life, but what happened? I'm growing very curious. It would have been nice research if I hadn't run into Cynthia Cleveland, into that Cynthia Cleveland creature again. Gosh, she's getting on my nerves. How could someone as stupid as her even make it into our crew? This has to be radiation, right? Clumps of hair falling out, inflamed skin, uh, mild nausea. And then eventually people just, just dying. And coughing up blood and stuff. That has to be radiation. It's gotta be. And the special analysis is not adding up. The thing is though, how... If there was radiation here, how could they not know that? They weren't relying on only one sensor, right? I mean, surely they didn't just have one source of information that would tell them that there was radiation, there was something wrong, right? So it's not like one faulty sensor could have done this, right? That wouldn't make any sense. There's got to be a bunch of different things that could have, at any one point, found out that this was caused by radiation. Like, what about when they were examining the bodies? This is weird. What the hell? Our data channels are dead. Andy decided to keep this information to ourselves for some reason. Well, he's the boss here. For now, we've simply said that the communication with Julia is ongoing, and nothing extraordinary has been found. It gets me worried, though. If we never recover our data channels, we're stuck on this planet. I'll try to look into the communication issue myself to make sure there's no sabotage. One suspect immediately jumps to mind. I'm still not sure what is jamming our communications. I've run every single test available, but still can't isolate the problem. I might ask Alex to look into this with me. 
It should be his job anyway, and I'm, I'm not that big of an expert on such things. Also, what originally seemed like ordinary nausea now appears more serious than we thought. Zhang looks as if she has been poisoned by thallium. Our planetary data check ruled out radiation poisoning, which would have very similar symptoms. I'm convinced this is an inside job, and my instincts point me to only one person. Could she be jealous of Lai Zhang? Is that it? I better keep a close watch on her. Yeah, our planetary data check ruled out radiation poisoning, which would have very similar symptoms. Hmm. Okay, so either whatever they used to check the data was incorrect, whether it was simply faulty or sabotaged or whatever, either it's incorrect or it's not actually radiation poisoning. I suppose it's possible that the radiation detection device, the, the Geiger counter, is was maybe just made as a last resort? Like, perhaps they were thinking, they have no idea what this is, maybe there's something wrong, and maybe this is actually radiation, so that's why they made it? Like, maybe it isn't. It really sounds like it is, though. Lai Zhang died today. Her illness progressed so rapidly, I'm convinced she had to be poisoned. I wish I could verify that with Julia's internal laboratory, but the damned data stream is silent. We can't even get back into orbit. I called Alex to help me out with the data channels problem, but even after triple checking every single thing, we couldn't discover what's jamming the communication lines. The cause must be here in the station, because we were able to verify data is traveling to and from the probe. We just can't access it. In my opinion, somebody messed with the decryption unit. But how? I feel terrible. Have I been poisoned as well? If this is true, I have only three days to find out the cause of the poisoning and obtain an antidote. Not a very nice outlook. And that hag is always snooping around. I must warn Andy. He will know how to deal with her. I'm sure of that. I've seen before that he's incredibly good at those kinds of things, and I still have my doubts about what happened at Zenobia. She might be behind it. I got an order from Andy to create a special little maintenance program, something which could help us break datapad passwords. He knows how much I love cryptography, so he didn't have to ask twice. I need to keep my work secret. As long as she feels her datapad is safe, we might be able to find important clues in there. We have decided to play a little game with Miss Cleveland. Andy blamed her for poisoning our crew and told her that he has the proof in his locker. If she doesn't explain herself, she will have to deal with consequences. I understand what he is after. If she panics, she might reveal something which would shed light into this poisoning. Also, my work on this little maintenance program progresses nicely. I need to try it soon on her datapad. Hmm. Alex died today. I met Andy and we decided to deal with Cynthia tonight. Even if she hasn't made any obvious mistakes, we can't allow this to continue. She was caught snooping around the station again, and just the thought of her gives me the shakes. We'll end it tonight, and inform the crew in the morning. She made it so simple for us. She followed us to the back of the station, and tried to eavesdrop. It was easier than I thought. Now we can get back to real work. I messed up my first attempt, and wiped some data from her datapad. I should have tested it first, but I was too excited to finally break in. I am positive that the answer to our poisoning lies there. I feel I don't have much time left. Okay, so they dealt with her when she followed them to the back of the station. I'm assuming that means they murdered her? What the hell? Either she faked it really well, or we've made a horrible mistake. I've broken the data pad. And she actually suspected Andy to be the poisoner. I need to think now. I have a crazy idea about what could be the root cause of our problems. There is no way now that we will ever be able to return to the probe. So I think I'll borrow some of our hovercraft parts for my handmade Geiger counter. I wish I could show this to my friend, Donald Anaxphone Bixler. He'd scoff at my steampunk device, since he only believes in digital. Maybe so, but we're in desperation mode now. The device is almost done. 
I hope I'll wake up tomorrow so I can use it. And he also knows his time will come soon. He told me his datapad password is... In case he doesn't survive. If he goes first, he wants me to take over this expedition. But I don't think I'll survive past tomorrow. I will die soon. Based upon my device findings and some additional calculations, the radiation level is 11... Uh... GY? I have, I have no idea what that actually is. Uh, it's too much for anyone to handle. I should have known this earlier. We have failed. So it was radiation. How did... How did that elude them for so long? That should have been immediately obvious. I mean, any... Any even semi-competently made array of sensors to, you know, detect uh, oxygen levels and whatnot to make sure that an area is safe for somebody to be in would be able to detect, detect a radiation. That's one of the most basic things you need to check. So, what the hell? And unfortunately, it's the uh, radiation poisoning that horrible is not something you can just reverse. It's too late. Okay, I think there's another data pad or two in here. Uh, there's one anymore. Alright, whose is this? Oh yeah, Cynthia's. Alright. Let's run this thing. Um, let's see. L, okay. Mm. Flower, something flower. Wildflower? Wildflower. Okay. How could she be the poisoner? Look at that lovely smile. Alright, so apparently some of the data has been lost. Thanks to Barth's hacking attempt, which apparently was not without problems. So this is not everything. Here we are. The last and least interesting planet in the solar system. It's not that we're successful. This entire expedition has been nothing but one big continual screw-up. Wait, it's not that we are successful. I don't understand that line. It's not... What, what's not that we're successful? Anyway, anyway uh, there's nothing to do here, yet we've been ordered to keep up with our daily logs. Yeah, right. Gosh, I feel terrible. My head hurts, and I'm all red. It looks like there's something in the air. I tried to tell this to Lark, but he doesn't care. What a dumbass. Lai feels even worse than I do. I tried to help and gave her some of my pills, but it didn't do any good. I wish I could do more for her. Okay, so hold on. 24th, 24th, 24th. Today our crew encountered mild nausea, 24th. So it first started on the 24th. So it looks like they first came to this planet on the 23rd, and they first started encountering symptoms the day after. So pretty much right away. And it also sounds like Lai Zhang was the one that got it worst. If I could find her data pad, I'd like to know what she did, because it sounds like maybe she got closer to the, uh, the source? Assuming this is not some sort of an ambient radiation thing where it's generally the same everywhere. Perhaps it came from some specific source? And if it did, she was the closest to it? Or something. What bullshit? I'm not supposed to look into Lai's condition? What's going on here? I have a feeling that Lark is losing his mind. Is it because he never got over his failure at Ambrosia? I'm so happy he never let me descend with them. Anyway, he's really acting weird. I may be paranoid, but he seems to know more than he's telling us. And he knows something about Lai. I'm going to investigate this on my own. 
Lai is getting worse, and neither Lark or Barth seem bothered by that? I can understand that brainwashed jerk not caring, but Barth? I've always respected him as a serious scientist. I need to get more evidence about what's going on. If only I could get my hands on Lark's ID card. I might try convincing Barth or Scott to give me a hand there. If I ever hope to blow the whistle on Lark's Ambrosia operation, I need more evidence anyway. I wish I had access to their dorm. Lai has died. I can't believe it. It happened so fast, and yet I have a feeling that Lark is somehow involved. I've seen the look on his face as he was staring at me, and I am now absolutely sure he did something to her. Everyone is feeling really terrible, and I suspect that something like thallium has been added to our food. I was able to persuade, persuade Scott to lend me his card. At a price. Not that my boyfriend, Dimitri something, would have cared. As soon as I got this mission assignment, he took off for Japan to join some cult, the Knights of the Old Republic. Whatever. My time with Scott paid off nicely. That sounds, um, awkward. So Scott accepted sex for that? What a dick. Um. Now this is interesting. Cynthia has hidden a camera in the men's sleeping room ventilation system to spy on Andrew. Hmm. That explains why I can look at the ventilation system. I was able to sneak into the men's dorm, but didn't have time to break into Lark's locker. I've installed a camera in the ventilation system, and with a little bit of luck, I might get his passcode. I just need to wait. Crap. Lark has publicly accused me of poisoning the crew. What is that idiot thinking? He thinks that shifting the blame to me will cover his ass? Not bloody likely. I ran away so they wouldn't see my tears. I'm so weak. I just wish I could punch him right in his face. I kind of wish that too. <laughs> Don't worry though, he's dead. Alex died, and if I'm not mistaken, Barth is involved in his death as well. To think that I wanted to get him on my side. They plan to meet outside. Later this evening. I need to sneak out there and find out what the charade is all about. We are dying in here and nobody seems to care. I wish I wasn't so helpless. Well, we know how that ended, don't we? Alright, I have a new passcode. And there's also the camera in the ventilation thing that I need to check. Alright, Andrew Lark. That's Scott White. I believe that is... Oh, Andrew Lark. Now comes the hard problem of remembering this. I wish I could copy and paste. Unfortunately, I can't. 9768221. I'm I'm never gonna remember that. And the letters and even the exclamation mark, apparently? I'm assuming that's part of the password. 9768221K exclamation. Okay, got it. Okay. Nine seven six eight two two one K exclamation exclamation is not part of it. All right. All right. What have you been up to, Mister Lark? We finally landed on this rock. Nothing to write home about, other than rocks of dust and more dust. How ironic to reach our final destination, only to learn it was nothing but a long, useless journey. I screwed up big time on Ambrosia, and if I ever believed in karma, this would have been the right payback. I need to motivate what is left of the crew. I've ordered them to write the daily records, and maybe a little scavenger hunt will keep them busy. We might find some trace of earlier life. This will be 
Hard to explain when we get back home. Not really a warm welcome. The crew is complaining about sudden headaches. But I think they're just not used to stress. I've ordered Barth to run another planet-wide scan. All readings were within normal limits, so we should be safe. Yep. It's the first day they got here, the 23rd. 24th is when everything first started. Getting bad. <laughs> wow. There's a shift in tone there from the 24th to the 25th. We're screwed. Our data channels with Julia have died. Barth reported this, and we've decided to keep his information classified until he fixes it. Hopefully it's just a minor glitch, but we can't send any medical data for thorough analysis. I'm really fed up with that hag, Cynthia. She's getting on my nerves, and on top of that, I have a feeling that she might be involved in our little accidents. I've ordered Pavel to look into the crew's sickness to get an unbiased view. I've placed Lai in medical quarantine. I have a strong suspicion that she's been poisoned, but I need to keep the remaining crew safe in case she encountered some kind of an alien disease. Still no contact with the probe, and Cynthia is suspiciously snooping around. I am positive she's behind all this. But why? Lai is dead. Her last moments were terrible, and she begged me to end her pain. I eased her last moments and informed the crew of her death. I'm calling an emergency meeting tomorrow. I need to get more proof about Cynthia's involvement in the poisoning. It's the fourth day, and our data channels are still dead. The one who created the obstacle must have been pretty smart, because Barth can't find the modification. However, he told me that the data is obviously coming to and from Julia, so the jammer is somewhere in the station. I've ordered Barth to create datapad hacking software. I'm sure we'll find the truth in Cynthia's datapad. We must do this discreetly, so she won't suspect anything. Today I accused Cynthia of the crew poisoning. Let her burn in her own stew. While her motive isn't clear, she's the only possible culprit. She's been acting strange ever since we left Ambrosia. Why didn't Yamabushi assign Alexander Brown to this mission like I requested? She's smart, easygoing, and a personal backer of mine. Meanwhile, the rest of the crew is co cooperating. I still don't want to alert the crew about our severed communication, as it would be foolish to destroy their morale. They still believe we can return to the probe and fly back home. I am no longer positive about that. Alex has died. He was one of my best men. That witch will pay. We'll set up a little trap and lure her out of the station tonight. We have to make our move now. She's recently developed a very intimate friendship. I think all our problems are finally solved, and I'm sure that our luck will change for the better. But I feel so sick today. She probably left me the little parting gift. We need to recheck all the nutrients for thallium. Shit. Her datapad didn't confirm anything. Was she innocent after all? What the hell is going on here? Are we cursed? Bart's condition is getting worse. What will I do without him? He's going insane and there's nothing I can do to help him. He's obsessed with some kind of an experiment and fends off all my questions rather violently. There's not much we can do. The data channels are dead, and Barth has lost his mind. He probably ingested heavy doses of the poison affecting his brain. And then he destroyed our hovercraft. Not that it matters, since we won't be able to connect with Julia. I was yelling at him, but he told me that he needed the parts for his experiment. This is madness. I'm feeling really sick now. I told Barth my datapad password, but it was simply a gesture. I know he is going to die soon. We all are. I'm not sure why I still keep writing this log as there's nothing to say except we're slowly dying. This can't be right. Barth rushed in today with a wild look in his eyes and started raving. He seems near death. But if his handmade Geiger counter is correct, we've been exposed to insane levels of lethal radiation since day one. If he's right, there's nothing we... There's nothing that can save us. But how could we have missed this? All our devices are synchronized with the probe, 
so it must be sabotaged by one of us. And the living conditions on this planet were estimated to be great. Someone must have tampered with Julia. Barth has died. There's no reason to go on. I will check all the server data one more time to see if I can find the culprit. I'm, con I'm still convinced that Cynthia was somehow involved. Maybe she was just careful and faked her datapad entries not to be caught. So she planned this from the beginning? I am going to end this madness tonight. I will send Scott to patrol the perimeter and deal with him later. As for Pavel, it will be better if he is asleep. Our expedition has failed. What the hell? Deal with him later. Deal with Scott later. Okay, so... Um, Cynthia and Scott were in a relation... Well, not really a relationship as far as I can tell. She just slept with him so that he would do her a favor? But I suppose that was probably enough to make Andrew Lark suspicious and not trust him ever. Since he is rather paranoid. And he did talk about... Let's see. It said it somewhere. Hmm, I'm not sure where it was. Anyway. Hmm. As for Pavel, it will be better if he is asleep. Is that when he died? He did this when Pavel was asleep. Is, is that when he was shot in the back of the head? Hold on, this was on the 38th. Let's go check. 38th. Yeah, I'm going to rest now. 38th. So all that happened on the same night. He was shot on the same night that... Uh, I'm assuming Lark was... Uh, Lark murdered Cynthia. Hold on, let's go check. Uh, which one? This one? 38th. Mm, that's the 36th. Thirtieth, huh? All right, let's go check the camera, shall we? According to Cynthia's data pad, a camera should still be hidden in here. If we are lucky. Aha! Uh -huh. It's still there! The camera no longer works, but I'm recovering its memory card. Let's take it to the analytics station to see what we can get from it. Whoops. Okay, something that I want to mention before I continue on, because it's kind of been bothering me, and that's the fact that Cynthia, who is one of the only women on this research expedition, has been sleeping with someone for favors. That's kind of gross. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a stereotype at this point, isn't it? And... It just doesn't seem like very good storytelling, for one. It's just kind of a trope at this point, but it also just seems kind of gross and, I don't know, makes me a bit uncomfortable. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, station? Here? Hold on, where do I take this thing? My current goal. Spies among us! Uh, can I just use it in a data bed? Well, not that one. Uh, oh no. I guess you can only use the SD card for hacking them, you can't use it after the fact. Oh, here we go. It's- holy shit! Hold on, look at this. That's a four terabyte memory card. Holy hell. 
Yep. That's the future, all right. This memory card has more storage space than my entire computer. And all of its hard drives. Of which I have three. Correlation with the internal fingerprints database reveals a clear match with Cynthia Cleveland. Okay, makes sense. She's the one that set it up. Okay, let's get the password. Come on, Lark, enter your password. Yes. Five four nine two three seven. I actually remembered it for more than five seconds. I'm happy with myself. There's another card lying in this locker. That is the station master card. We might be able to extract some really useful data with it. Excellent. Did I pick it up? I guess I did. Okay. Hmm. Media. Yay, more pictures of rocks. That explains everything. Ooh, this is new. Bullseye. Blueprints of a high range solar system scanner. What's that for? If we build the scanner, we might be able to leave this dreadful place. Did Julie just say bullseye? Okay, she's definitely malfunctioning. Artificial intelligences do not say bullseye. That is not allowed. Wait, if we build this, we might be able to leave. Wait a minute, why can't we leave right now? Maybe I missed something from the beginning. I know we took damage. Did it disable our ship? To some degree? Huh. Anyway. <laughs> Build scanner and get out of this place. If I built a high-range scanner using our probe's workbench, I could find another place... I could find other places to go. Okay. So if I go back up to the probe, I guess I can just... make it? Do we just have the stuff to make it? I guess. Alright, I'm not sure there's actually anything more to see here. Actually, no, 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 that's not true. There's still one data pad I can hack, isn't there? This one? Scott White. S. Ooh, that's a long password. L. Hmm. Damn it. Too many tries. Damn it! Too many tries. L I T. Okay. E. It's gonna kick me out. L I. Oh. L I T. E. U O K O P. No. Hmm. Still not sure what the word could be. S. Jeez. What 
What the hell? Maybe those are numbers. Hmm. Isn't that just... His name? Invincible Scott? Is that really your name? Invi- wow. <laughs> he kind of looks like a superhero, too. Huh. Alright, let's- oh. Apparently I found- whoa. What? What just happened? Click here to see all available Mindomatics. Yeah, that's a game mechanic that I don't have any idea what the hell it's for. I've seen it, I just never used it before. Because until now it's been completely empty. Let's take a quick look at what the Mindomatic actually is. Uh, I forgot how I access it. Oh, here it is. Patterns. Whoa! Okay, so this is some sort of an investigation, making links sort of thing. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Randomize. I know. We landed on Andrew Lark. Yeah. No. We landed on aliens. And then the aliens constructed a Geiger counter. It all makes sense. But then the Geiger counter itself ironically died from radiation poisoning. Yes. I have multiple radiation poisonings. Hmm. And then the radiation poisoning departed without a trace. And, okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with that. Alright, so I'm gonna check out the Mind O Matic, as well as Scott White's uh, datapad in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.